Herbert Henricus was employee number one at Skype and came to INSEAD in 2010 to study for an MBA. He's now the co-founder of TransferWise, which is an online money transfer business. Welcome to Alumni Experience Tarvet. I want to talk about Skype, but, but first, just about TransferWise. You were in the papers earlier in the year for raising $58 million to pursue your growth. How do things change when you suddenly have that kind of money? Raising money is not a goal in, its, in itself, or it's not any, you know, it's, a, it's also a bad way to judge someone's success in a business, I think. You know, it's rather, it's a necessary evil. You know, you need, to, you need capital to grow a business, so it's something you, something you got to do. And uh, if you're in the sick of it, then actually you don't feel anything about it. Uh, you know, you feel, you feel slightly relieved when you're done with it, but, uh, you know, we've raised money four times and, uh, you know, we'll probably do, do more of it in the future. So it's, uh, you know, once you're in it, it doesn't really feel anything, anything special. Let's go back to your career at Skype. How did you become Skype's first employee? So I, I was in Estonia, I was uh, working for another company and actually I had just decided to, to take a little break from work and, and focus on finishing my undergraduate degree. But then I ended up meeting Niklas and Janos and uh, they had created something called Kaza before, which was quite an exciting project. And they had just sold Kaza and were thinking about new things to do and uh, there wasn't much uh, need for hesitation, you know, I could figure that they are far from being done with uh, with disrupting, okay? so it, it it felt to me a pretty safe bet to to join them and uh, and see what happens. Uh. What lessons have you learned from seeing Skype's growth right from the beginning? I think there are maybe two lessons which really stuck to me. Uh, one was to pick a market which is big. You know, thinking about the telecommunication markets. You know, multi-billion is probably it's the wrong word to use. Multi-trillion is probably closer to the truth. And the second thing I learned was about team. You know, it is so important to make sure you have the, the core team is the right set of people with, uh, with the right attitude, hands-on, yet dreaming big, and not, not, willing to, not willing to let go. You know, when you start, you really all you have is just a dream. So you, gotta, you need a team that will help to make that dream a reality. I'm guessing you had lots of options when you had left Skype. Why did you decide to come and study for an MBA at INSEAD? I came here because I figured it would be a fantastic way to learn about um, a, a lot of things. Uh, and it's a great way to meet lots of smart, diverse people. And it's a good way to, to spend time in a different rhythm. So I kind of uh, uh, think about life as a uh, as a, let's call it a series of careers. I had about 12 years of work experience before in SEAT, so I view this as a, let's call it, it was a break between being an employee and becoming an entrepreneur. You are now an entrepreneur. Um, can you just briefly say what TransferWise does? TransferWise helps people and businesses make international money transfers. We help them send money internationally for a very low cost, very quickly, in a very easy to use way, without having to use your bank. Often people who start companies have lots of ideas floating around and then they pick one. How did you pick the transfer-wise idea? Uh, I think the reality is you, will, you can never know which ideas will work. So during INSEAD, uh, I worked on a number of different ideas with a number of different people. And uh, with transfer-wise, you know, it, it was an old idea. And we just realized, okay, you know, if we won't know if it works or not unless we try it. Just by working on this and trying it out, and when we launched it, and pretty soon we had people who were using it, which was, uh, which was proof that uh, there is a need for it. You've seen two startups achieve incredible growth. Is there some kind of secret or template that you follow? I'm not sure the template exists. And I think it's, uh, it's very dangerous to think that it does, because uh, you know, oftentimes people get stuck with uh, what worked for them before. And next time that could actually lead to lead to a disaster. So I, I don't dare say that a template exists. Uh, you know, I'm sure I'm subconsciously relying on things which work at Skype all the time. And you know, probably they work. But I'm I don't dare say there is a template. Okay. If there's no template, is it you? Uh, is, is there something about your skills or experience which means it's easy for you? It was 
not easy. It was incredibly hard. But I think there's sort of multiple ways of looking at it. You know, the question really is what is you know what's you know, we can turn it into a very meta level. What is hard? Eh? You know, it's mm, digressing now here, but you know, if people are complaining that entrepreneurship is hard. Eh? You know, I would actually argue against that. What do you have to lose? Eh? You know, the most you can lose is a few nights of sleep and maybe six months of your life. But eh? so you know, I think it's, it's kind of a meta. Uh, how hard was it? I mean, yes, it's been incredibly hard, and it continues being very hard because building a business is incredibly hard. Eh? But it's also very enjoyable. Lots of INSEAD students or alumni feel like they have a startup idea they'd like to pursue. What would you say to them? Go for it? Absolutely. But uh, so I mean, it really comes down to people and team. You know, so anybody can do it, but the amount of time it takes them is very different. So if you take, uh, if you take a really bad B or C team with the same idea, it will take them much more than a year to launch something, and then it will take them six months to learn something, and then six months to, to improve it. So you know, you're speaking about two years spent without really getting any meaningful traction, and probably by that time they're out of money and desperate and frustrated. Versus if you take a real world-class A team, say we'll launch an idea in three months, in the next three months, they will learn so much to make it better. And two years later, they will have a global business. So anybody can do it, but the amount of time it takes is very different. Too. And time, time matters. Speed matters. You know, For us at TransferWise, uh, we focus everything on speed. It's the way we've structured our teams is focused on speed. And then it's really the speed of iterating and the speed of learning.